Windows 10, but it looks like Windows Longhorn. So Windows Longhorn, which was going to be one of the most ambitious releases ever, with a completely overhauled interface and some cutting edge features such as an advanced sidebar and WinFS, it was looking good. Well, kinda. Until the project got reset and became Windows Vista, and we all know how that went. So there's a pre-reset and post-reset era of Longhorn. But right now, we'll focus on the pre-reset build, specifically build 4074. So here we are at the pre-installation environment. So as you can see, we have the background from the pre-installation environment of build 4074. Also, here we have a different border. Now, this is not obviously accurate to 4074, but it's a neat touch, I think. It's also got different buttons here and here. The rest of the installation is not that much different from the pre-installation environment from modern versions of Windows. It's just a bit different in terms of the wording. Also, you can see that we also have different icons over here. So these icons come from the Longhorn builds as well. So yeah, we're just going to continue the installation and here we go. So uh, I'll be back when this finishes the installation. All right, so here we are at the desktop, as you can see. So we have this command prompt window. We're gonna close that. That's just for the sidebar to load. And yes, as you can see, we have a sidebar. And as you can see, we also have what appears to be the J theme by default. And the thing about the sidebar is that whenever you maximize a window, the sidebar actually stays there. It's not just something that stays on the desktop. It actually stays there whenever a window is maximized. And by the way, as you can see, we have the file explorer. So this is a relative resemblance to the one found in Longhorn build 2074. So we have a couple items here. So we have a view system information, which will open up the classic um, Windows XP style system properties dialog. So here it says Microsoft Windows, code name Longhorn. So yeah, just like Longhorn, well, any Longhorn build of this era. As you can see, we have the basic theme by default, but we also have a, an option to enable arrow. So if we open up the documents here, the documents folder, we have two options. So we have arrow and basic. So we currently have basic, but we're gonna switch, we can switch over to arrow. So if we double click on it, we're gonna get logged out and that's a bug which has actually been um, written down in the no niche section so what can happen is that when you when you try to lock your system or when you get locked out or even when you try to shut down or restart your system the log on screen can get stuck so the only solution to this is to uh, force reset the computer unfortunately there's a reason why I always say to use this at your own risk if you want to use this as your daily. I never recommend daily any mods like these because of no issues like these. Okay, so yeah, here we are now at the desktop. So here we have the arrow theme, as you can see. We're gonna open up a window here. And yeah, here we have the arrow theme, as you can see. Another thing is that this is in the wallpaper that comes by default with 4074. I just applied this one because it fits better. I think it looks better with this theme specifically. The actual 4074 wallpaper is actually in here. It's called Bliss. And yeah, this one is the actual 4074 wallpaper, but I'm just gonna go back to the previous one. It's called Ripple. And by the way, now that we are here, um, we can if we go to the screensaver, we have just two screensavers. Well, technically three, but that I don't really think that counts. So we have Longhorn screensaver, which appears to be this. And we also have photo and video slideshow, which shows nothing, just this, because there's no pictures in here. So yeah, we're gonna close that out of the way. So now moving on to the software side of things. So we're gonna start off with the bundled web browser. So in good old fashion, we have Mozilla Firefox, but the theme is actually pretty good. So this is a Longhorn theme for Mozilla Firefox. That actually looks pretty neat. So yeah, we have this Firefox theme, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty neat, honestly. It looks pretty sick with this arrow, honestly. And this is actually the only way you can get this theme to look properly because when we try to load the web browser on, uh, with a basic theme setup, it looks like this. We can see we also have Outlook Express, but I don't really, I won't really go too much into detail because this is still Outlook Express sits. 
and the Outlook Express version found in the actual Longhorn build looks rather different to this. We also have Windows Media Player. So this is Windows Media Player version 9. Again, this is just like Windows Longhorn, like this specific build to be exact. This comes with Media Player 9. We also have MSN Explorer. Now, this kind of works. Now, we can go to continue. We can select a region of um, Mexico here. And the thing here is that you press continue and it just does this. So yeah, uh, it doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Windows Messenger. This is actually functional. Like this is MSN Messenger from the Scargot website. Moving on to other stuff, so we have some games. So mostly, uh, yeah, so these are just um, Windows XP games, and for some reason we have uh, some weird icons going over here for some reason, but they do work. Like, Minesweeper works. We have Pinball right here. We also have Solitaire. So yeah, these are just uh, these are just Windows XP games. Like uh, like m most of the software here is just Windows XP stuff, albeit with different icons and stuff. The downside of this is that the internet games don't work. Like they're here, but they don't actually work. So when I when I actually try to run, let's say Internet Checkers, it shows this. Yeah. So these are some programs here. Um, again, mostly just XP applications. The difference being that some of these have different icons. So for instance, we have Paint and Notepad. But now before I end this up, before I wrap this up, um, so I actually want to uh, showcase the lock string a bit more. So if we click on lock here, it is actually a bit buggy. So there's some details with this. So sometimes this will show up, sometimes it would not. But yeah, so we, it actually animates and we also have the Windows uh, Longhorn uh, user pr picture right here. Again, some minor differences over here. This looks uh, a bit different compared to the actual 2074. But for this being Windows 10, that's still pretty good in my opinion. And also my, uh, another detail here. So when you, when you press Alt F4, it will actually open up this. And this is just how it looks in the actual Longhorn build. See, obviously, with all my other mods, all the credits here at the desktop. And yeah, so with that said, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to comment and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, bye. See you in the next video.